to the Wilkerson Newscast. Today is Monday, April 17th. Please join Ms. Johnson's class doing the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the flag in which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Please join London interviewing Laura. Today we are here with Laura for cheerleading. One, do you like cheer? Yes. What is one of your favorite cheers? Shoot that ball. How long did you cheer? This is my first time cheering. Okay. Back to you, Zoe and Aurora. Thank you, London. Now for the birthdays. Zachary. Jair. Damari. Leah. Jason. William. Carly. Henry. Kobe. Jada. Imani. Please enjoy a segment of for Na National Poetry Month. Hi, for National Poetry Month, we're going to read some poems from the book No More Poems that's in the library. My device. I used to find it charming. I used to think it nice. But now I am a prisoner of my own device. I needed to take pictures. I needed to play games. Remember all my numbers. Remember all my names. It tells me where I'm going. It gives me all my news. It plays me all my music. It buys me all my shoes. I used to go to mom's house with a birthday cake. Now I simply text her, don't even have to bake. I once had conversations with people that I met. It used to make me nervous. It used to make me sweat. Now I can ignore them and look down at my screen. They don't even notice they're doing the same thing. My device is smarter than everyone I meet. It knows all the answers. You're all obsolete. My manners. I drank my soda pop and burp. My manners are a mess. I never say yes ma'am or sir. I say uh huh or yes. When someone asks would I want something, I don't think I would. I never say no thank you. Instead I say I'm good. But am I? Really? Am I good? In some ways, sure, I guess. But one thing's undeniable, my manners are a mess. This bathtub's too small. This bathtub's too small or there's too many kids in it. Everyone stop horsing around for a minute. A blob of shampoo landed right in my eye. A toenail just scratched me from ankle to thigh. We might be too old to all wash in one tub. There's no room to soap up. There's no room to scrub. I'm dirtier now than before I got in. The cheek I just washed wasn't next to a chin. I gotta get out of this tub full of troubles. Now someone's making mysterious bubbles. I did my homework, but I lost it. My mom might have thought it was garbage and tossed it. My stupid sister might have hit it. One thing's for certain, though, I did it. I remember it took me over an hour, which left me without even time to shower. If I smell ripe, then that's the reason. And also, right now, it's basketball season. My dad might have grabbed it to write down a number. As he gets older, he's getting dumber. How does he manage to hold down a job? He's ditzy as heck and he's kind of a slob. I guess it's not all my family's fault. I could keep my homework locked in a vault with schools and crossbones and 17 locks under a mountain of stinky old socks or handcuff or briefcase onto my wrist to carry the homework I swear it does exist. Police motorcade a square of goons. I should have hired soldiers entire platoons to bring you my homework what's that you say we didn't have any homework due for today nothing for real no homework assigned never mind for the soccer players practice is on monday and wednesday 4 to 5 30 there is a soccer game on thursday at prp soccer field girls on the run is wednesday and thursday from 4 to 5.30. Thank you for watching this week's newscast. Have a great rest of your week.